Rita Marina, a seasoned actress of 92 years, graced the set of The View this Monday to drum up excitement for her latest role in the comedy The Prank. In the film, she steps into the shoes of a harsh professor who finds herself mistakenly accused of a murder. But before we dive in, if you appreciate videos like this, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Thank you. During her appearance, as noted by the Daily Mail, she lightened the mood with a humorous jab at Trump and voiced her appreciation for President Joe Biden's accomplishments. At the beginning of her interview, Marina urged viewers to support their channel with a subscribe, promising an in-depth discussion. She then shifted gears to discuss the former president, expressing her disbelief at his actions with a simple, it's appalling, it's appalling. She couldn't resist sharing a humorous anecdote. I've got a funny story for everyone. I noticed a sign in a deli that advertised a Trump sandwich described as two slices of white bread filled with bologna and accompanied by a tiny pickle, shared Sarah Haynes, eliciting roars of laughter and applause from the audience. Elisa Farah Griffin praised Moreno as a legend for her wit, and Sonny Host humorously agreed, saying it was chef's kiss. Moreno herself commented on the joke's perfect fit, joking that it probably retailed for $399. As the conversation turned more serious, Moreno did not hold back her opinions on Trump, saying she could never support someone facing 91 criminal indictments. She highlighted, just think about it. All of Biden's achievements compared to Trump's 91 criminal charges spread across four indictments, including efforts to contest the 2020 election results and withholding classified information. There's even an indictment related to hush money payments before the 2016 election. Moreno also spoke up about a common misconception regarding President Biden, emphasizing in an interview with The Hill that his age and the way he moves should not be mistaken for ineffectiveness. She stressed that understanding and respecting the elderly is crucial, hinting at a broader issue of ageism that affects societal perceptions. To dive deeper into her character for The Prank, Moreno revealed that she drew inspiration from her own experiences with difficult individuals in the entertainment industry. When asked about her method for portraying such an unlikable character, Moreno shared, I reflected on all the challenging women I've encountered, especially in showbiz, who were unkind to me. I decided to channel the negativity they directed at me in the past, using it to bring authenticity to my role. This candid sharing not only offered a glimpse into Moreno's acting process, but also highlighted her resilience and ability to transform personal adversities into artistic expression. Her appearance on the show, filled with laughter, serious discussions, and personal revelations, not only promoted her film, but also sparked conversations on larger issues, such as political accountability and the value of experience with age. Moreno's blend of humor, seriousness, and reflection made for a memorable interview underscoring her legendary status in the entertainment world. She found herself nodding in agreement with the actor's views on the fickle nature of celebrity in the business world, echoing Moreno's critical observations about Hollywood's scene. Rita Moreno had the ladies of The View in fits of laughter with her humorous take on former President Donald Trump's infamous sandwich joke, as reported by RaiderOnline.com. On a Monday episode, the 92-year-old screen veteran made it clear to the show's hosts that Trump would not be receiving her vote come November. Her critique of Trump, calling him both stupid and appalling, left everyone in the studio laughing out loud. The conversation kicked off with Ana Navarro, asking for Moreno's opinion on the criticisms directed at Joe Biden due to his age. Moreno responded, Given the current climate in our country, it's not surprising. But let me be clear. I would never vote for someone facing 91 criminal indictments. Referring to Trump's legal troubles, Moreno expressed her disbelief at the situation and praised Biden's accomplishments before moving on to lighten the mood with a joke. I've got a great joke for everyone. The celebrated West Side Story actress began. I saw a deli advertising a Trump sandwich described as two slices of white bread filled with bologna and a tiny pickle. The audience and hosts alike responded with hearty laughter and applause. 
Sarah Haynes praised Moreno's humor, calling it excellent. Alisa Farah Griffin, a former Trump administration member, labeled Moreno a legend, while Sonny Houston agreed, calling the joke chef's kiss. But Moreno didn't stop there. She added, the description couldn't be more spot on. Navarro quipped, and it's probably priced at 399 dollars prompting even more laughter from everyone present. This humorous moment was a snapshot of Moreno's recent outspoken political commentary. In a March 2022 speech, she criticized some Hollywood peers for not using their platforms to address critical issues like climate change, healthcare, voting rights, and LGBTQ advocacy. Moreno highlighted the mixed reactions from the audience, some of whom might feel uncomfortable or even anxious about celebrities expressing political opinions. Some wonder, who do these actors think they are? Participating in democracy, Moreno rhetorically asked. Well, freedom of speech is a right for all of us, including actors, she firmly stated. Moreno has become a figure not just celebrated for her legendary performances, but also for her willingness to use her platform to speak on important societal issues. Her blend of humor and serious commentary resonates with many, showcasing the unique role entertainers can play in shaping public discourse. Through her appearances and statements, Moreno encourages a more engaged and informed public, demonstrating the power of celebrity beyond the silver screen. Her efforts exemplify how art and activism can intersect, offering a blueprint for other public figures to follow. Subscribe if you liked the video. Thanks for watching.